Can I use two? Oral history. Okay. Oral history. I think that reggae is like is a story of a people, of a lost people, not in terms of like geographically, but like a people were lost within themselves and reggae is a very quick avenue to finding who you are and kinda of grounding back yourself. What is the significance of the elephant in your logo? <laughs> That's interesting. All right. Really and truly, it's kind of just retelling the story of the elephant. I feel like the elephant is the king of the jungle. You know, like, but the lions are the ones, they have all of the girls, them and the popular one, them and think of them. You know, but the elephant is the humble one in the forest with their kids, they're vegan. You know, when they go to the water, everybody are, is able to eat. A lion can't really test an elephant. So you, do you identify with an elephant? Yeah, man, me's an elephant, man. Okay. From a grow up, my mom, <laughs> had, my mom always had a lot of small elephants in her house, and it was oh. always a part of, you know, like, you know, and just even growing up in Africa as well, the elephant represent the strength of the, the place, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. So what artist or song are you currently jamming to? Oh, may I listen Nipsey also right now? Okay. You know what I mean? The All general. Right. <laughs> We've been listening a lot of Nipsey Hussle on the bus. It really gets me through my, my drives a lot. Yeah, um, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so of all the places that you've taught, which city or which crowd has produced the most energy? Um, yo, all of them have them different things what they bring, you know? And I feel like um, there was obviously the cities that had the Jamaican diaspora and the Caribbean diaspora and a strong diaspora, it was a different kind of energy because again, them overstand what the culture and what we're really doing. Right. You know what I mean? So those cities like LA, New York, um, we did a special one up in Humboldt, high up in the hills of, um, on the West Coast, where um, there was a bunch of kids. So that show was special because it was a lot of children, so the wow. energy was just different. How would you describe your style? I feel like genre of music is changing. So yeah, like and style like of Yeah. Cl Close? Yeah. Oh, you see me you no know, <laughs> fashion no um yo I find myself sometimes yo after six months me just reach re right. re move my closet and just come again with a different vibes and a fashion different style. TV. But um yo my my fashion limitless man. <laughs> Do you prefer to chill in a river or go to the beach? Hmm. <laughs> River. Okay. My first say river because the fresh water. I love the fresh water. What is your favorite food? My two favorite food is the Ital stew from Jamaica and Habesha food, which Are is like vegan? sugar and mustard. How do you feel veganism, you know, impacts you as a person? Like your energy, your body? Animals have a very complex makeup. So I don't like to take life at all, even when you come on to plants as well. but. I think for um, an animal, everybody can agree that it's a more complex being because they have emotions, yeah. they have feelings, instinct, they have... And I really believe that when you eat food, you become that food that you consume. It becomes a part of you. Versus a plant, no, is a very, very... It's not such a complex plant. It's still a living thing and still have life, but it's, it, it's easier to break down within yourself, you know what I mean? That was one of my main reasons why I made it. Who is one artist that you wish you could collaborate with, dead or alive? Shadi. Okay. Wow, and that's... I didn't expect that. <laughs> me, no, man, we're ready, man. Anytime we get that chance, yeah. man, Shadi. I definitely would love to do something with um, Burning Spear. Okay. Those two artists are really two artists I would love to do something with. So you're stuck on an island. What is the one thing you must have? So I think if it was based on, my decision was based solely on survival, I would say a coconut. <laughs> because a coconut have coconut water. Okay. It have jelly and I can survive off of that. Forever? Yeah, man. Okay. Coconut have enough electrolytes, enough everything what you would need. But if no, I'm gonna figure out a way to survive and thing. Definitely some marijuana would ease the pain. <laughs> I think it change depending on the mood that I'm in and okay. what day it is. Today my favorite song is is actually a song that is sung by my mother. Okay. I think it's I I, 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 I it's a Spanish song actually. 
I, 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 so, so, I don't remember the I exact thing, but it's already. nice. It's a nice, beautiful song. Do you prefer English Premier League or La Liga? Premier League, man. I mean, he's a gunner. Me is a, me is a Arsenal fan, so. Even <laughs> though Arsenal literally made me stop watch football in the past three years. them discouraging, but I still miss it. How often do you write? And what is the best time of day for you to write? I don't really write. Okay. You know, like, my recording process is more like I record the song as, it, as I go. But in terms of writing, I'm always thinking of concepts in my head. Okay. But actually putting a song together, I think the time of day is when I'm really tired. Okay. You know, so, yeah. Usually 4 or 5 a.m., yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah. Do we have any more collaborations with your sister in the future? Yes, me and my sister have a lot of collaborations that are already recorded and done, you know. Okay. But it's just like, for us, it's just like really finding the right time and place. But actually, allow me to tell, we just released a tune okay. on a <laughs> mixtape. She, my sister just dropped her mix mixtape and we have a me and her have a dope. We did the Gideon remix actually. Okay, awesome. And it mud. You should check it out. How do you think, you know, growing up with all your sisters has impacted you as an artist, as a person, as a human? Well, you know, growing up around a lot of women really obviously make you more sensitive to um, a lot of things that you see, you know what I mean? Um, and just having great women around you. <laughs> make you do them thing whether you have a lot of them or not you know when you have a strong powerful woman right. it make you know and understand when you're around that kind of energy um how long did you live in africa i lived there for like seven years how do you think that culture impacted you as a as an artist going to africa definitely opened like many doors for me on a even identity and self level. You, you open up to so much different cultures and different foods and different languages and different kind of people and then like places to go to. And definitely like that impact my music a lot. Right. Because no that's why even in the set like we go so much different places. I like when I plan my music set I, that's a very huge intention of mine to to make sure we take people like everywhere with the music, right. you know what I mean? Because that's what my upbringing was everywhere. So yeah. If you weren't a reggae artist, what do you think you would be doing? I would be a farmer. I would be a farmer. What kind? What? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think you know, I'd be a ganja farmer and everything too. But I would be far away from this world with my little happy family, just yeah. you know, my own world. How would you describe your music in one word? Again, limitlessness. Okay. Yeah. One word. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Look and send me up on all the summer change. I wonder if I tune in DJ Rise and make a change. Well, if I let you match when we buy my mother age, Father protect me and bless me with this.